Today's topic is intergenic gene interaction. So first you must know the definition of intergenic gene interaction. Interlocus interactions takes place between the alleles at different loci that is between the alleles of different genes. So first you must know the locus. The gene located on the chromosome that particular po the po point is called locus. Okay. So in the gene the alleles are present. So the gap between the two different genes is, uh, is called interloci. So there, because of the gap they have an interaction between the two alleles like we. We are sitting side by side and we have a gap uh, and we are talking no. We are talking in a particular gap. That interaction that we are interacting. I am taking the class. You are listening to it. Listening to it. And if you have any doubts you are asking me no. That is the interaction. Like that the genes also having interactions. So that can be studied in the following. So intergenic or non-allelic interaction. Serial number, epistatic interactions, examples and F1 ratio that is F2 ratio or phenotypic ratio. Dominant epistatus, fruit color in summer squash 12 is to 3 is to 1. Recessive epistatus, flower color in antirhinum species 9 is to 3 is to 4. Duplicate genes with cumulative effect, fruit shape in summer squash 9 is to 6 is to 1. Complementary genes, flower color in sweet peas 9 is to 7. Supplementary genes, green, gram color in maize 9 is to 3 is to 4. Inhibitor genes, leaf color in rice plants 13 is to 3. Duplicate genes, seed capsule shape, fruit shape in shepherd's purse, bursa bursa pastoris 15 is to 1. Now we are going to see the dominant epistatus 12 is to 3 is to 1. First you must know the definition the dominant epistatus. The gene interaction in which two alleles of a gene at one locus interfere and suppresses or masks the phenotypic expression of a different pair of alleles of another gene at another locus. So this means that one is dominant. Another gene is also dominant but the particular gene is there. The another gene automatically that is the another gene is suppress, suppressed by the dominant gene. So for example if a girl in, a, in our classroom the one girl voice is over it is very harsh very bold and another girl voice is low. So if she enters into the class. The entire, the, the entire top, that is the, the entire class is attending the voice of the particular girl. That is called dominant, okay. Dominant epistatic, the dominant voice that is, that is, the girl is suppressing other girls. If she was present there, no other sound will be taking place. And same way, a teacher enters into the classroom, okay. The students will be calm. They have to calm and they have to listen. Only the teacher voice has to be dominant over the class. So it, it creates a good interaction. The students can listen to the class. So like that, the one gene, there the teacher is epistatic and the students are hypostatic. So like that, the gene which suppresses another gene is called epistatic gene. And the gene which is suppressed, that gene is called hypostatic gene. So, epistatic gene here is the teacher and hypostatic gene is the students. When both the genes are present together, the phenotype is determined by the epistatic gene, not by the hypostatic gene. So, if a teacher in the classroom the class will be silent because of the teacher. The teacher is epistatic and controlling the students to keep quiet. And she is taking the class. They can listen to the class. So she is the epistatic gene. And the students are hypostatic. After the teacher gone, teacher is out, the students, the hypostatic, that is the students will be enjoying. They will 
enjoying with some drums everything so in, when the teacher was inside the classroom and she is the epistatic gene so the students will be quiet hypostatic gene okay i think you understand this and here they had given the example summer squash in fruit color so they took the dominant gene capital w white color and recessive gene small w colored fruit capital w is epistatic it is dominant when it is present in the particular group the other phenotypic characters of other gene is suppressed so it is epistatic gene and the hypostatic gene is capital g which gives yellow fruit and recessive allele small g for green fruit so the phenotypic ratio of dominant epistotes will be 12 is to 3 is to 1 12 white fruit is to 3 yellow fruit is to 1 green fruit so now we we'll see the that is the cross the summer cross summer that is in the summer squash there we can see the detail so what happened there is a cross is taken between the white fruit into the yellow fruit so the white fruit genes may be capital w capital w small g small g and yellow fruit uh, genes may be small w small w capital g capital g so white from that the gametes are segregated as capital w small g and here small w capital g they are fused in F1, capital W, cap, small w, capital G, small g. You get white color as per the Mendel's, as per the Mendel's uh, um, thing. What will happen? The dominant genes has to express. That means white and yellow. Both the colors has to come out. But here it is not coming. It is not coming. It giving the white color and the G, the capital G is suppressed by capital W. So the epistatic gene capital W suppresses the hypostatic gene capital G. And this was that is this F1 is self crossed. Self crossed the following gametes are appear that is capital W capital G. Capital W small g small w capital g small w small g so like this if we are putting it in a checkerboard this checkerboard and you can see the color variation also 12 white fruit is appeared in f2 generation 12 white fruit is appeared and three yellow fruit you can see no the three yellow fruit and one green fruit so the, that is that is w the capital where and all the capital w is present white color is appeared so the capital g or small w or small g the capital g that is dominant character capital g is itself a hypostatic where the other is you going to come so the capital where and all the capital epistatic gene is seen the fruit or color is white and in the absence of capital W, that epistatic gene, there the hypostatic gene, capital G appears, then the fruit color is yellow. The complete absence of either capital W or capital G, there you get the green fruit, all are recessive. So this shows the particular gene, the epistatic gene, mask the hypotic uh, gene. So, this is called dominant epistatus. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in your comment box. In the comment box, if you like the video, please, please put an like, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.